When it comes to training the upper back, one of the most important things you need to think about there is having your elbows away from the body. Because anytime you bring your elbows into your body, it's going to always activate more lat. So for you to work your upper back musculature, elbows should always be around the 45 degree angle from your body. Okay. Now, whenever you're doing a kind of row, uh, the bar that you use is really important because if you're using a bar that's narrow, you're going to now then going to be in a position where you're not going to align the load with the upper back. Okay. So you're going to be involving a lot more biceps as an example. So for example, I've got this fantastic bar here, which has all of these attachments. Okay. If I was to have a bar that the attachment of that bar was narrow, let's say for example, on the slot number five of this, if we count it from here, one, two, three, four, five. And if our goal for, here, for me here is upper back, now, if this was for lats, this would actually be per pretty perfect. But if my goal is upper back here, I'm going to go out in that direction. You can see immediately there, if I was to hold it there, that the load is coming from here, but my elbow is out there and my bicep is doing a lot of the work. And also my elbow is compromised. So for me to really take the bicep away from the movement and to really just make sure that I'm getting the upper back and also saving my elbows, which is very important. You don't want to get injured. This bar is great because it allows you to then find the width that's going to work with your width. So from now, you can now see that this load is fully aligned with my arm. Okay. And now when I'm doing the row, thinking elbows away from the body, I'm going to row back, squeezing a pen between my shoulder blades. But you can now see there that the load is fully in line with my wrist and my elbow. That means now my bicep's not doing much work and my elbow is in a nice safe place. I'm going to row, squeeze that upper back, come back and control, open up, pause, row and control. So I'm a big fan of these amazing bars with different little slots because it allows us all, we're all very different in terms of our statures and our widths and our, how big we are, to make sure that we're putting the load aligned with, you, with your arm, with what fits you. So it's a great tool, not just from here, so you could do a row, but also from a pull down perspective, same situation from a low row, same situation. If the goal is upper back, we need to make sure wherever we're coming from, we're aligning that load with our wrist and our elbow and we're making sure they're away. The same for the lats. You can use this for lats as well by bringing your elbows in and then from there you're driving your tricep. Again, regardless of where you're coming from, it allows you to put the, the, the hole that you need for your own body to fit the goal that you're trying to achieve, whether it's upper back or lats.